Okay folks, the next section of the Falcon is going to be the main body now and this very large piece is this very large piece here with all detail parts and this piece here, P5 is this piece is, is what we needed one slight issue I've come across you may want to paint this first because if you attach it now like here for instance which is going to go down it's keyed with two notches you can't really mess it up just locks into place however if you look down the walkway it's going to be tricky to paint so you might want to paint this piece now before locking it all into place plus this segment here is a little bit of damage which is part of the uh, ship where it's been attacked by TIE fighters or whatever there is a segment to go behind that which has detail parts on it all pipes again it's keyed small and large you can't mess this up either it's going to slot into here again it's going to have that detail behind it so you might want to paint that now and then stick it in because it'd be tricky to get to but it's your call okay next section is these parts here a two piece they're like the uh, exhaust system part fuses at the back of the ship which goes all corresponds all the way around here which is going to fit all the way around here again a slight issue or well, it's not issue at all but it's just painting um, these you're going to want to paint these again because um, behind here we have these segments here which are the clear these clear segments are the diffusers for the LEDs to give it that glow behind the ship if you put these in now and you have these parts on here when you come to paint it you're going to get overspray through these holes and you're going to get overspray all over your clear so you might want to do these separately uh, build them paint them pop them in and then we can run a strip of led sorry run a strip of um masking tape just along the leading edge to stop the overspray from going into the clear okay folks these sec sections will paint it now this section is painted in the uh, off-white color which the whole tire falcon is going to be uh, done in i have a custom mix it's completely flat white with a tiny bit of deck tan in it just to off the uh, tone of the white um, so it's a slight off white color um, you can't really see it on camera I don't know how well you can see the uh, different different effect and the, the engine parts we've done a metal gray color um, so this part and here goes together and so it just looks a little bit better um, This segment here I believe is Z and this is Z so these parts are going to correspond again just snap into place there's a, the opposite side which is Z again which I believe would be so this section and this section is Z as well and these are going to go together and then I believe these two segments are the outer sections And again, these are both Z, but this one is Z5, and this one with the slight notch in it, and angle is Z6, and I believe these two go together. And then we have the same again on the other side. Um, now it's just working, what, what order these go into? Um... Okay, we have this section which has this type of notch in it and this one is the middle section so you've got the two ends and now this is going to snap into here and then the opposite end is going to be this one with the opposite notch is going to correspond into here and then the end caps Okay, you're going to need your lower section of the ship now. So this whole tire section should
go into here. And then we have your end pieces, which should line up as well. Let's go back to doing the centerpiece. There we go. It's all locking into place. So there is the back of the uh, Falcon. Now, so like I say, if I um, didn't paint these separately, you're going to end up with overspray everywhere. We're going to put some masking tape all the way along here to stop overspray because we have the clear segments going in next. Okay, adding these light sections for the diffusers, there's two little notches on the ends which go up on which way it faces up, which are these pieces here. Um, so these ones are paint facing upwards because it's flat and then it's notched out. So this is the bottom one. So this one's going to go... over there. and down in there and then the upper section notches are facing downwards goes on top of it locks into place because they angle slightly like this the clear parts so they all should be nicely done and so it's kind of foggy at the back and the light's going to shine through nicely Next section is this piece here, it's gorgeous detail, all in here, this is a Q, um, Q20 I believe, uh, nice parts in here, you can tell there's different parts of tanks again, you've got a tank part here, it looks like a back of a Tiger, this whole tire segment looks like a back of a, a Matilda, I believe, and next two segments is going to go here and here, which will correspond to here, which is Q21 and Q22. You want to do 21 first and then 22, not just because of the numbers, but they're going to overlap one another, like this. So this one's going to go into there. And then this one's got a square pin or square notch in the back. And that sits this way around actually, sorry, tell a lie. And that goes... Goes back here. So you've got overlapping parts, you just want to be careful. And uh, instructions they do give you several uh, diagrams of how to look at it, how to look at it top down and sideways just to make sure you've got everything in right. Next piece is a uh, small piece that sits in this square hole, and then we have a running plate that goes along here. So this piece here is going to go into here and then we have Q18 which is this piece here which goes along the back And we have Q19 and K62, which is these pipes, and it's going to go this way round into there, and this is going to notch it's going to notch into, into these three holes here. Q19 
open my line up. That pipe sits into there. I'm going to have to glue this piping off. I have found most of the pipes are quite a loose fit, so a little dab of glue on there. Next piece is this one here is K. Uh, no, sorry, Q23, and we have K40, which is this pipe. And this is going to notch into these score ponding holes. It's going to sit like this. Let's put a dab of glue on those pipes. Like I say, I've, I have found with all the pipes to be rather a loose fit. And this section is going to go into this notch and to this notch and then into this hole. Somewhat like that, and then we have this pipe, which is K49, which is a long and a down pipe, and this is going to notch into the front here. And rest in the back, just like that. And that's pretty much it for this one. Is it this one finished? Uh, yeah, so this one's finished now. We have another one similar to this, but it's slightly different layout. So this is the one we've just done. So the next one is, as I say, it's slightly different. It's got this piece here on top of it, and a couple of pipes, but the back parts are pretty much the same. So the next section is these two parts, which is part of the underfloor in somewhere. So this section simply goes into there and then we have a couple of attachment and and some more pipes so this piece here is k38 again all these small pipes are super fragile you just have to be super careful with them all and it's going to go into here and look into here so just be super careful with them all Next two pieces, this small part here is going to be K59 and this is going to slot along here into this back part, slots into there. This smaller piece is K36 and this sits up top. It is keyed, so it's like a T-shape. Um, so we're going to try and get this into the back here. And that goes in the back there. So it's this piece here, and this piece here, these two little bits. So we have one more to go in here, and a couple of pipes to go on the front of here. So we've added these pipes now and the next section is this large triangle piece which has detail on it and it's keyed with three different size pins so you can't again can't mess it up and it needs to slot into these corresponding notches as well so put them in first and that just simply just closes in and we have a pipe that runs all the way across to the end all the way across here now as well. So this long pipe, L-shape, will go along the back here. This is K41, and it goes into this notch, and goes into this hole, just like that. And we have two long spars that run along the back here. So these two long spars are Q2, which is like a scaffolding frame, crane piece, which is actually not a crane, but it just looks like it. Um, it goes this way around. We have pins and notches and this sits in here and goes all the way down and there's a long notch at the front. Just 
Just make sure you get it in firmly. There you go, that goes in now. And then we have this piece here, which is Q6, which has the same kind of locking mechanism, which goes in front of it, which goes into this one and corresponds to a little cut out of the front here the snap and this makes up these walkways so there's two of these which are very similar but different, different layouts these are on the bottom of the ship I couldn't tell you what these are so and feel free to tell me what they are they're on the bottom of the ship somewhere okay folks next section here is going to be once we've done those two previous bits, which was these segments here, they're going to attach to the lower part of the ship, which is this giant piece here. And they go into these corresponding holes. Um, but again, you might want to paint these separately um, and do whatever you need to do with them first. Because for this one, for instance, it goes up here. Um, once it's into place, I don't want to push it too far because I need to get it back out again. However, you've got this detail, and you might have difficulty painting to it. Um, so, we've got to paint this grey first, and then we slot them back in. And then, when we do the white, it doesn't matter how much white we get inside there because inside of the ship okay folks the next section here is this piece here it's part of the uh, front landing gear and front of the ship so it's all the, of this section the front landing gear part will go in there but we've got LEDs to go in this section as well so this top piece with this lovely detail goes into this section it's keyed so you can't mess it up it goes into there we have this piece here again this looks like the back of a tiger tank kind of this is going to go this way around and it goes into this cover and this slots down into here it's a bit of a tight fit that one that goes in there nicely so it makes this part of the ship and we have some side plates to go on so the next sections will be this piece here and these two sides. I would sit, stick these sides on first just in case. Um, again it's all keyed. And they will slot into here. The other side is pretty much keyed. So it has that side rail, and the front part is angled. Two notches should go in here. Yeah, so that's perfectly fine. Next step, we have an LED bulb to go in here. So we have these black clips, which hold holds the uh, LED bulbs into place. Um, and you want the next white wire, which is the, long, the second long one. So you've got LED both ends. You only need one side of it. So you want one end of the LED. Put this inside. the slot to hold it into place and then this simply just gets not notched into there and you have the LED bulb sticking out the bottom so it's going to light up the part of the landing gear
Okay folks, now we can go back to this section here which I previously painted now in the grey colour. So we can slot these in its corresponding spots. These are going to go in here, like I mentioned before. This one is going to go in this side. Come here. Now the next section is to attach the other half of the ship that we had previously. This can go on the inside of here. You can hear it creak and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly notch this into place. So there we are. It's all in, in the place now. It's starting to look like a falcon now. Next, we have this walkway that we previously done as well, which had the cable coming through it. These large tabs are going to go into this one. You want to make sure your cable doesn't get caught up, so you want to have it poking out the front. Turn it over, and then make sure it's not twisted or anything. This end of the uh, light has got to go into the back here, which lights up the walkway. So we need one of those black pins to hold it into place. <laughs> 